I want to improve the quality of the sound in my uh, videos. So I happen to own um, CyberDirector, which includes AudioDirector. So I wanted to, I would appreciate some feedback on this one just for the, the sound. So I'm going to pull in, this is AudioDirector. I'm going to pull in this little audio. And this is in my, my sub subscribe audio. So we'll just listen to a little bit of it and we'll see how that sounds. So if I, I look forward to learning what you think about this video. Okay, so that's the way it sounds. And we can see we've got a little bit of background hiss in here. So the first thing I have been playing with this and learning a little bit about things. So there is what's called a noise gate. And the interesting thing is this is, if I bring the cursor back here, and I say, this is the original audio, and I, and I say play. I look forward to learning what you think about this video. Let me know in the comments below. I appreciate it. Okay. Now, if we see what the applied results, let's see, if we apply this, make a selection before clicking apply. Okay, so we're going to um, applied results. Uh, we're going to select both tracks. And let's see, must make a selection. Okay, I want to select select all. There we go. So let's apply this filter. So this, if you noticed, this removed some noise. So if we listen to this now, I look forward to learning what you think about this video. Let me. That one's very subtle and you'd probably not even hear most of it, but it, that's there. But I found this article here. Let's see if I can get this over here. And this one is talking about, it's using, I got to get, there we go. This is uh, warm of voice and improved clarity. So he's talking about a different parametric, uh, about how to play with parametric. And that there are some VST plugins, but I'm just going to play with, I get adding more plugins complicates things. And I just wanted to, uh, maybe I'll get into that someday, but I was just looking at, if I click on the equalizer and then we go to here, this gives us a parametric. And based upon the article that I had, and he comes down here for a male voice and I'm male, so that it says I should add three to five dB around 180 to 120 Hertz. And uh, then to improve clarity, I want to add four to six dB around 3000 Hertz. So let's minimize that. So I want, I have, these are the Hertz. This is the, this is my uh, equalizer, such as it is. It's not a terribly powerful equalizer but this is what comes with it so it says around 200 Hertz now I don't have I have 125 and I have 200 Hertz but well we're going to let's put 3 DB that's 3 DB there and we're going to want to put 4 DB at 3000 Hertz now we have either 2000 or 4000 let's go let's go with 4000 Hertz let's do 4 DB so I get three and four. And if I preview, I look forward to learning what you think about this video. Let me know in the comments below. I appreciate all your comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give me a thumbs down. I appreciate both forms of feedback. You're so you're seeing the difference as I click back and forth. So I think I'm going to try this with uh, the uh, this video I'm going to apply these settings to this and I would kind of like your opinion does from what you're hearing of the sound of this does I'm gonna put 
the recording up straight, but you're hearing uh, the subscribe, and I'll probably put, uh, that's the thing that I play at the end of the video. And I would like to hear your opinion of what you're hearing in here. Is it worth doing this to my audio as I move forward? So um, before we do that, let's do one. Uh, let's let's see one other. So this is the preview. I look forward to learning what you think about this video. So that's three. Now let's go with five. Five. That's six. Let's go with five here. And let's go, instead of four, let's go six, he six here. Now the thing, oh, this, I did that, that should be, yeah, five and six. Ooh, no, 250, that should be, f that should be five. There we go. We see that the, the waveform, so let's preview this. I look forward to learning what you think about this video. Let me know in the comments below. I appreciate all your comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give me a... Th so those are just a couple of things I've done with this so far. And I guess I'm going to try... I'm not going to affect the, the, the recording of the video. I'm just going to leave as it is and we'll see, see what that goes. But I'm thinking about doing this for all my following videos so that I will try and improve the quality of this. Uh, I'm still learning some of the some of the tools. So we're going to apply this. And so th this is just an interesting uh, video about audio director. It's one of the tools that comes with the power director switch, which, it, which is not that really expensive. Um, but I was playing with it. It's, I think it's about $80. I'm happy that it gets rid of the hiss down here. I can barely hear the hiss when, when you notice we've got the noise gate. And if I turn noise gate off, we, you see it visually with, but with the noise gate on that gets rid of the noise gate because that's coming probably from my fans that are in my uh, computer case. It's picking the microphone is picking those up and adding a little bit of the equalizer. So uh, I'd like to hear your comments. I'd like to hear your feedback. Uh, which one sounds better from the recordings that we've got here? I mean, this is gonna get strange. And, you know, because I'm asking you to hear a recording that I haven't processed and we'll, we'll see how <laughs> that's, that's going. But it's, um, uh, I'm learning the tools. It's learning experience with this. Uh, maybe this gives you some insight into a tool called Audio Director, which comes with Power Director. If you want to take a look at that under Cyberlink is the company. And it's more powerful than I normally would be capable of using, but it's uh, in an interesting tool to play with. So I look forward to some comments on this one because I'm sort of a little lost. And um, thank you for watching my video.